It wasn't easy to find jazz in Washington. Washington, D.C. during the 30s and 40s was heavily segregated. They were not Americans, they were Turks. And when they came here, I think that they were surprised by the fact that black people and white people did not perform together. And we had the Ellington Band, we had guys from the Louis Armstrong Band, Benny Goodman, Tommy Dorsey, they all black and white playing together. Music is colorblind. Jazz does not discriminate based on race or color or religion or political philosophy. We put on the first integrated concert in Washington. The U.S. congressmen uh, who were not thrilled to see African Americans walk through the front door. Jam sessions at the residence had helped punch holes in the rigid racial segregation of Washington, D.C. at that time. 